Welcome back to the sixth episode of Nations Rising. Um, let's hope we are stable enough. This province is a bit of a problem, but the rebels will consist of one stack. So that's not much of an issue. I'm going to continue using our diplomats here and there just to uh, boost relations with nations and uh, hopefully as we gain some aggressive expansion they won't coalition us. It looks like we're just about ready to tech up and take our ex exploration idea so that would be really good. But our biggest concern right now is our, our debt. And that means we pretty much have to go to war whether we like it or not. So let's do it. Take tribal food. How much money are we making right now? Not much. Not much. But our forces are quite high after going to war. Ah, interestingly, he has actually built a fort. And he has a vassal with a fort as well, so this may not be just a complete pushover like many of the hordes are. His forces are getting wrecked down there though, so that's that's excellent news for us. Um, I did also notice that Japan is fighting in this war. Perhaps... Perhaps we might find ourselves at collapsing on Ming, just like everybody else. That could be a good source of money. Although... Ah, there is a fort right here. I was going to say, obtaining a fort could be difficult. Taking these Manchu provinces and taking his money could be excellent for us. If Japan doesn't back him up, I might go ahead and do that. Ming has no forces at all, he's pathetic. So if I declared on him right now, we would essentially be fighting Ming. That's one way we can look at things. Now this, uh, Qi? I suppose is how you pronounce their name. They're the same. They're still not. They have that fort mothballed down there. So now that I'm sitting on all of Hayek's provinces, he's unable to reinforce. And if we're lucky, we can go take that fort and piece him out with relative ease. Yeah, another nation declares on Ming. Wait, Shu? I thought that was Shu. And Japan did not back him up. So everybody's declaring on Ming. Okay. Let's do that ourselves. Join the party. Uh, we will repay that loan simply because we can afford to. I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. This is going to be too uh, successful. Well, our legitimacy is repaired now, so that helps our unrest a little bit. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Our rule is so bad. But at least he has admin, I suppose. Oh my gosh, he's bad. I saw Chi had 13,000 troops. That's pretty formidable. We may have to wait until we've sieged these provinces up before I go down there. Yeah, 13,000. Um, let's perhaps we can sit here to kind of ensure that nobody else takes the provinces that we desire to take. As everybody in the world is fighting Ming right now. Poor guy. You've got to feel sorry for him when, when that happens. Uh, this rebel faction may not be successful either. 
as he's got so many enemies they will probably clear it up for him at some point I imagine nice we're making a decent amount of money and that hopefully is only going to be more as we maybe we can take some war reparations from Ming who knows There might not be much left of him, honestly, with the amount of wars that he is fighting. I should be looting these provinces, so let's do that. I guess I'll improve relations with Yan, as he's the nearest to us. I prefer not to be coalitioned against. Okay, that air is not bad. Good. I mean, he's not great, but very often when I get a great air, I'm <laughs> very concerned that they will uh, just die in a hunting accident. Hopefully this air is good enough to where he will not be victim of that. Or rather, he'll be bad enough to where he's not going to be a victim of that, in, as far as the game is concerned. But good enough to where... You guys get what I'm saying. 334 is not too bad. Um, we're going to be taking some land here. And if, if I get that colonist already, that's going to cost me some power, some money. I don't like um, it costing us money when we're in debt. So I'm not going to tick up. We might as well tick up after I spend our admin coring here because we might get it for cheaper for less. If we take all 20 of our forces, we stand on this uh, fort. And hopefully we can separate piece AXI for his entire land at that point. These Jin Separatists are going to spawn and uh, they're on mountains. If we can take that battle defensively, that would be ideal. Showing superiority against Ming is going to be hard, considering he has no forces. No. Look at that mighty Mongolia though. Looking good. Muscovy's getting religious ideas, so he's not colonizing yet either. That's good. Come on, baby, take that province. That's what we're waiting on right there. Ming is actually a really interesting nation to play. They start off ranked the most powerful nation in the world, according to the uh, score. And I have thought about uh, attempting a world conquest on them. They obviously have their fair share of setbacks, like being Chinese tech and so on. Their government type is less than ideal. I don't have access. Can I get access here? Yes, indeedy. Oh. 
Brutal events, man. That inflation's killing our economy. a small engagement here but that's fine i'm pretty confident we, we will be able to set for peace this guy we're doing surprisingly well that's because of our tech advantage good stuff Get wrecked, Hayekzai. Now, unfortunately not completing the war goal, we don't even have 10 war score against Ming. That means we can't separate piece him. But uh, if we make this a really long war, we should be able to separate piece him at some point. Now, unfortunately this region is going to be quite unstable. But we're used to that and 90 ducats not bad looking good boys that's a pretty nice mongolia i like that we can call an ally in i don't think there's much reason to do that and that costed a horrendous amount of admin not looking so good <laughs> And it's only going to cost more as we take some land here, hopefully, preferably. So I guess what we're doing is waiting for people to peace out and then we can grab more land. Um, we still have 550 ducats in debt, that's pretty brutal. Gonna have rebels spawning up here. Let's position our forces to handle that. Not making much money at all. Brilliant. When does our truce end with? Sal in three years and he has no allies so he should be a couple free provinces we can expand into no problem and interestingly he's Buddhist that's strange I wonder how that occurred we forced his religion derpy derp I remember doing that yeah that was just in order to freely convert his capital. I'm surprised he actually has converted the land himself. Not bad. Now I can build some uh, navy, but I don't actually see... I don't have much incentive to do that. building a navy right now when we are so poor. Of course we still have the option to expand out in this direction but we have to wait for Uzbek to be in some trouble. I think at the rate we're expanding uh, Perhaps, perhaps we could handle him soon, but we, I mean, 30 force limit is pretty nice, but we just need our economy to recover. I mean, perhaps I should be looking for another target to declare on. Of 
Korea's one tick ahead of us. Wait, he's got land out here. Ming has land out here. Didn't even realize. Did somebody piece him out? Somebody totally pieced him out. Somebody did. Um. Send some troops. Go get that war score. So this this these provinces over here are in our cultural group. We could think about taking land out here. Like giving us some other options in India. Like this guy's pretty vulnerable, look at him. Gaining war score is the issue here. Okay, he's been pieced out dramatically. Um, the problem is that he's still fighting other opponents rather than just us. Um, if we gained access from this dude, we should have access to most of his land now. I guess it's basically that capital, that sweet, sweet capital. If we can take that sweet, sweet capital, we should be able to take just about everything we want. Who knows if we can make it there, though. And more people declaring on him. Jeez. Jeez. Poor guy. Mongol particularists. Yeah, we're not going to make it to this capital. Flip. At least give us 10%. He's just getting smaller and smaller and smaller, this guy. I guess, theoretically, if we stayed at war long enough, we could probably vassalize him. Having Ming, Ming as a vassal would uh, be pretty great, I think. So we can technically um, peace out now. But let's try to push it further. Uh, we need money. We really need money. We're not making any money right now. In two years time we can take all of Jang Sao's money. Hopefully he doesn't gain any allies. Then we can... Uh, he should have some money. He's just sitting there for quite some time he's been sitting there and allowing some money to accumulate I imagine. Ah good. Crushing these forces if we can. We're on the same tech level. I've got to be careful here. Ah oh, Ming. Pretend to reveal thorny. If we can beat these forces out here that will give us ticking war score. Yet another terrible general. I think I'm going to lose this. Nope, got him. Freight. Okay, we're in mountains there. Awesome. So we've got Ticking War Score. Uh, Mountains is pretty nice a little province to defend. But he's not committing on that. Let's have truce with Japan. Oh, please don't YOLO attack me again, Japan. That was not very nice. Part of the reason we are in so much debt. Okay. 
Okay. Got him. Got him, and that's our second fort. Interesting. Feels good, man. Look at that Mongolia. What a savage. What a savage. Um, we still have rebels spawning, so I can't exactly turn my maintenance down entirely. But we probably don't have our need. We probably don't require our forces being so high. We're making such a small amount of money and we have such high debt and I'm not hiring advisors right now. It's brutal. Just brutal. Um, at least our power projection is high. That's a nice amount of... Oops. A nice amount of uh, monarch points. So I am going to go ahead and take this tech. That will give us a little bit more trade efficiency. I was saving up for exploration ideas. Um, the reason I sort of chose to take land. Ah, we've got a fort here as well. I didn't even realize. Uh, let's actually get rid of that entirely. For money. It's not got the best strategic location. Whereas this one is has a much stronger strategic location. Now, I think maybe Korea will help us with these rebels. We give him access? Yes, he will. Thank you, Korea. Excellent. Okay, I'm feeling pretty confident about this, guys. Uh, I know I said it before, but I'm going to say it again. Despite what people think like or how well received this is on the YouTubes on the tubes I'm having a lot of fun myself playing Mongolia this is a sort of a bit of an experiment um, as I'm playing a much longer sort of grand campaign and honestly I don't know how long I plan to continue but it's a sort of a, a bit of an experiment I want to see how well received it is on YouTube and uh, we'll go from there in regards to the future. But I hope you guys have been enjoying. I've been enjoying playing. I feel like we're going to have a lot of opportunity in the future to pick away at different nations now. And I guess technically one way of looking at it is that we have expanded into Ming where we otherwise wouldn't have with all these ongoings happening. Here's our truce with Jiang Zhao. So I'm probably going to declare immediately next episode but until then thank you for watching